Hey there, welcome back to the At Home Dog YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making a true classic. There's absolutely nothing that brings together a family meal like warm, soft, buttery, and salty dinner rolls. That's right, we're making dinner rolls. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. So it's no surprise that on the counter today we have a really simple list of ingredients, most of which can be found in your cabinet, just like most other common dinner items. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of milk. This is whole milk and we're gonna have it at about 115 degrees whenever we get started so that it activates the yeast. We have two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast as well as one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar. Over here we have two and a half teaspoons of salt and five tablespoons of butter. This is cold butter and it's cut into small pieces. That way it goes easily into the four cups of AP flour. I also separately have four tablespoons of butter over here that we are gonna melt and use separately to brush on top of the rolls later. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is heat up the milk. Now that our milk's nice and warm, I'm gonna take and add the sugar and yeast into it. I'm gonna give it just a little stir. And now we're gonna to need to let this sit for about 10 to 12 minutes to get nice and frothy. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and add the salt into the flour. And I'm gonna set the butter back in the refrigerator to stay cold. So we're gonna go ahead and take the pitcher to our Vitamix, which we're gonna be using as the food processor here today. We're gonna to add in the salt and flour. Now we're gonna start by mixing these on low to get the salt fully incorporated and mixed throughout the flour. Don't overwork it because you don't want it to get hot. And we're gonna take our ice cold butter and throw it right in and then we're gonna pulse it into the flour. Now we're gonna go ahead and just dump it back into our bowl. Your flour should start to have that slightly buttery color to it and you shouldn't see any big clumps in there. If you do, feel free to just kind of rub them in with your fingers like when you make biscuits. Now you can see that the yeast has had the full 10 minutes and it's nice and foamy, so that's a good sign that it's working. We're gonna go ahead and add it into the flour. Once the milk and flour start to actually work together into a dough, I'm gonna turn it out onto the counter and knead it into itself. Once we start kneading and the dough starts coming together all the way, we're gonna knead it for about 10 to 12 minutes. If you have a stand mixer, you can do that in your stand mixer with a dough hook and you can take about 10 minutes. So I've kneaded the dough for about 11 minutes now. And as you can see, it's starting to get nice and smooth. It's a little tacky, but it's not sticky. We're gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl and let it sit for an hour and a half. It's been about an hour and a half. And as you can see, the dough has just over doubled in size. So we're gonna turn it out on the counter and cut it into 24 evenly sized pieces. Now that we have all of these cut into evenly sized pieces, we're just gonna give ourselves a little room here and then roll them into evenly spaced balls. So once you can roll them into a little ball here, that's about the same, we're gonna stack them all up and then we're gonna put them all into the pan together. So once you roll the dough into smooth balls, we're gonna go ahead and set them aside into the pan. I'm gonna use a nine by 13 pan and I'm just gonna pack them in nice and tight and leave about half an inch of space in between. Now that we have the dough balls in the pan, just gonna make sure they're spaced about evenly and if they're all not exactly spaced perfect or not quite the same exact size, that's fine because we are gonna go ahead and cover them again and let them rise for another hour and a half. So we'll see you then. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes here and we're gonna go ahead and turn the oven on to bake at 350 degrees so that it's nice and ready to go by the time the bread's done proofing. As you can see here, you can see the little lumps where the rows of rolls are actually starting to rise up. So they should be ready to go by the time the oven's hot. Time has passed and as you can see our rolls have came together really nicely and we do have the melted butter. I'm gonna brush on a lot of this butter. We really just wanna load it up and get those nice buttery rich rolls. And not only is the butter gonna really help the flavor of the bread, it's also gonna help get it nice and brown whenever they bake. Cause we are gonna bake these for 30 minutes 
at 350 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and go into the oven now. So we'll check back on those in 30 minutes. We are back. The rolls are finished. So as you see it here, we have nice, even pan of nice, beautiful rolls. And I do have the rest of my butter here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush these down really, really well. And then I'm gonna finish them off with a good bit of salt. Just to give them that nice little extra crunch and salty goodness there at the end. All right, friends, well, there you have it. That's how you make dinner rolls. Well, that wraps us up on how to make homemade dinner rolls. Comment below and let me know how yours turn out. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.